Hello, welcome to the video to program your Fire TV to watch live TV as well as video on demand in the comfort of your own home. Please make sure your device is connected to your TV as well as to the internet and all updates have been installed. Use the right arrow to scroll to the right. Highlight settings, it looks like a gear wheel on the far right side and scroll down and click on My Fire TV. You want to see developer options. If developer options isn't shown on your device, click About and then click the Select button while hovering over Fire TV Stick 4K about eight times. The developer options will now show if you go back to the last screen. Scroll down to Network and record the MAC address in the bottom right corner. It looks something like this. Be sure to provide your MAC address to your provider with your unique number. Click the back button. Let's go down to developer options. Click on developer options. Click ADB debugging to on and click apps from unknown sources and turn that on. Click the back button. Click the home button on your remote. Scroll over to the left and go to the search command or the find command. Scroll down, click search and start typing the word downloader. You'll see it displayed down below. Scroll down and click on the word downloader. Click select on your remote. Click select again to download it. It will begin to download and then click again to open it. Click allow. Click OK. Scroll up, click again, and type these characters exactly, and this is case sensitive. Once you're finished, click the go button in the bottom right of your screen. It will begin to download once you click go, and the file is about 51 megabytes. Click install, scroll to the right and click install. Click done, click the delete button. This just deletes the file from your SD card. Click delete, click the home button on your remote, scroll over to the right and click the button with the three squares and the plus sign. Scroll down and scroll over to the right. Highlight the icon with the TV and click the button with the three horizontal lines. Scroll down and click move to front and click once more. Highlight and click configure application. Scroll down and click on profiles. Scroll down and click on new profile. Scroll down and click on Portal Settings, click Portal URL, click once more, use the Delete button, and erase all of the text up to but not including the two forward slashes. Type the URL provided to you by your provider. It is case sensitive. Once you've typed it in, click the Next button, click OK, click the Back button, Scroll down and click on STB configuration, click STB model, scroll down and click on mag322, scroll down and click on MAC address, click once more, scroll over to the bottom right and click the clear button, and please type in the MAC address that you recorded earlier. Once you have it typed in, click the next button, Click OK, scroll down and click on serial number, click once more, and click the clear button, click next, click OK, 
click the back button, scroll down and click on Media Player Settings, click Media Player, scroll up and click Auto, click the back button, click the back button once more, click it once more, scroll up and click on Key Maps, scroll down and highlight Add Key and click Select. On your remote, click the Rewind button, click Select. Scroll down and click btn underscore video underscore rewind. Scroll down and save key. Click add key. Click the rewind button again. Click action not selected. Scroll down and click btn underscore green. Scroll down and click long key press. Scroll down and click save key. Click add key. Click the play pause button. Click Action Not Selected, scroll down and click BTN underscore video underscore play pause. Scroll down and save key, click Add Key, click the Play Pause button. Click Action Not Selected, scroll down and click BTN underscore yellow. Click the Long Key Press box and save key. Click Add Key. Click the fast forward button, click action not selected. Scroll down again to btn underscore video underscore forward, click save key. Click add key and click fast forward again. Click action not selected and this time it's btn underscore blue. Click long key press and save key. So you should have six buttons programmed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Click the back button. Go ahead and hit the home button on your remote and you are all finished the programming. Please be sure that your provider received your Mac ID and that your system has been activated. Once done so, you can now begin enjoying by clicking on the TV screen icon. Please refer to our tutorial video to learn tips and tricks on using the system. Within seven days of your TV subscription expiring, you will see a friendly notice displayed on the bottom of your screen while in the application. Thank you for watching the video and enjoy your streaming.